I have always been interested in cooking. I would sit in the kitchen all day long. I had an obsession with the Food Network. Um, I wanted to learn how to cook everything, so I would just sit and watch. They tell me even when I was two. Oh, wow. My childhood growing up was uh, amazing. I was always surrounded by love and, and the food, the love of food as well, and, and the, the respect of ingredients. Hi, Hi, welcome chef, welcome Thank to my you. home. I'm Ashley, I'm excited to cook with you today. Well, lovely to be here, wow, this looks amazing. Thank you, come on in. When I think of food, I think of a family dinner with you know all my friends and family around it and laughter and people bonding. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is perfect. If you're making soup, I'm making dessert. Okay, great. So I'll be making a princess cake. I thought it would be very fitting. Down the line, when my kids are older, they'll look back and that's the things that they'll remember, you know, and it's always centered around food. And, you know, they love to help me cook in the kitchen and be around and it's, we're constantly making memories and it's things that they're gonna bring down to their children. You know, they'll say, oh, my mom used to make my grandmother's soup and here's my recipe and their take on it and they'll make it for their kids. So I think so much is centered around food and, and it invokes so many memories and um, traditions. Getting the opportunity to grow up around uh, good food, it, it's, uh, it's, it's rare. I didn't see they're coming, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Legacy is very important in my family. I am the third generation of my family company, and it's a huge legacy and a huge burden to carry on, but something that I've always wanted to do and always wanted to embark on, and um, I think about that every day because I want to keep my grandparents' legacy and heritage and all that they built alive, And um, but yet I want to make it modern and make it my own, so it's a constant play with myself, but legacy is very important to me. Well, I think when it, when it comes to Aquavit, it's like, it's an institution, right? It, it's one of the older, older restaurants in New York. We've been around for 37 years, I think. I, I'm, I'm losing count the last couple of years, how many years it is. The restaurant has been through so many different chefs and, and different characters, and we all see uh, our cuisine in different ways. Everyone has always, uh, had Swedish origin, so that's always been there. And I think as long as you keep that at the core and you keep having, like there's a certain classics where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe we're still making meatballs. But then at the same time, it's like, it's one of those things that people are travel to eat. Yeah, how could you not make meatballs? I feel like that's <laughs> such a staple. <laughs> I think the word legacy, it's, it's such a massive word and it's such a big responsibility. When, when you talk about legacy, you talk about fulfilling shoes, right? From Aquavita have had these amazing, massive chefs come out of the restaurant and, and not only do I have to fulfill and keep up to what they've done, but you also have uh, a responsibility to Swedish cuisine and Scandinavian cuisine and, and keeping that heritage alive. And I think what you can do is you have to draw, or I draw as much as I can on my childhood, what I know, what I grew up with, but also trying to stay true to uh, the techniques and uh, the way we cook and produce food out of the Nordic countries. It's, uh, it's scary and terrifying most of the time, but uh, it's also fun. It's, uh, it's an amazing cuisine to draw from. So my family business was started by my grandfather um, about 85 years ago. He was a stockbroker who was able to Travel to China and he brought back all these Obasan rugs. They had a party. They loved to entertain my grandparents and my grandmother had the best taste and somebody asked, you know, where she got them and she said China and my grandfather was like, I think we're onto something here. So he quit his job and he opened up Star Carpet. I, from birth, always knew I wanted to be a part of it. So when anybody asked me what I wanted to be when I was growing up, would work with my dad at Star Carpet. So I started sales, sales assistant, I did processing, I did ordering, I did everything that you could do. So 
just to see how everything worked. And then eventually I ended up on the creative side, um, becoming the creative director. I remember uh, my grandmother's uh, marmalade and jellies and, and cakes and cookies and cakes and other cakes. And I try my best to recreate them. She's definitely behind many recipes at the restaurant, for sure. One of the biggest things that I learned from my grandmother and my great Aunt Iris um, Apfeld was to kind of always trust my instincts and be a strong female voice in a male-driven world. And I think that it was interesting to get into the company with my uncle and my father running it and try to find my footing. And I, I just would always hear their, their voice, which was trust myself. I got the opportunity to actually design the, the kitchen at Akavit. You work in a kitchen your entire life and you start building up this idea of what works and, and what doesn't work. Like, where should a sink go? Where should the stove go and, and the oven and, and all of those? So I'm a big fan of letting people see what goes on behind the scene because I find that very interesting myself. So the first thing we actually put in the idea and in the budget was like, take out the wall. Right. Like, I want a big window. I want everyone to be able to see what we're going on. Yeah, I feel like I did the same thing. A lot of people ask question my not putting doors or a wall or, you know, blocking and even to the entrance foyer. And there's no reason to hide a beautiful kitchen. Yeah, I'd, I'd, like a window into the heart of the, of the house. Because yeah, exactly. the kitchen really is that. My job is full of patterns and textures and, you know, it's sort of like the craziness of New York, of the city. So when I come into my house, I wanted it to be super soothing, sort of like a little sanctuary, you know, really quiet and um, feel like I could just relax and decompress and enjoy my family life and, and create many memories, so. It's complicated, but okay. it's actually really simple. And one of the best things about this, it never gets hot, so my kids can like put their hands on it. Oh, and wow. It just never heats, and it's, there's no handle that they can pull. It's a button, you just hit it like this, and it pops open. Oh my god. Where have I been living? <laughs> Well, I feel fortunate enough to have this kitchen and all these beautiful Gagano appliances. It's been great to cook in it, and I feel like my kids have like really gravitated towards it, and I feel like so much of my life right now is these three little kids, and it's been fun. And they're like super into vegetables and all the right foods, so I feel like... Oh, well, that's good. Yes, yeah, exposing good. them to it is... is and then I, I come along and I'll shove some sugar on. Um, They'll love you, you for gotta it. You gotta have some sugar. <laughs> I want my kids to do what they're interested in because I think, like they always say, do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Although it's not entirely true because then you'll never stop working and it's like no line, which is what happens with me. But um, I want them to do what they're interested in. I obviously would love for my daughter to be involved or my son if he wanted to. Um, my, I have an older brother who wanted nothing to do with the company and um, I never felt the pressure from my parents, but it's just something that I innately always wanted to do, and I love interior design, and I, I see a little bit of in my daughter. She definitely says she likes um, fashion more, but she's very picky about what she wants, so we'll see. You have to kind of get it all at the same time. Yeah, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, okay. There we go. Good, and the jam. Oh my god, that was really good. I must say, I did a good job. Really good job.